Hello friends, welcome to my channel Dr. NP Vlogs. In this video, I will explain the new tariff for domestic electricity consumption in Tamil Nadu, which is coming as bi monthly bill. And first, I will explain the old tariff, and respectively, I will also explain the new tariff and what is the change in the new tariff. So basically, the old tariff can be divided into four category. Category one is zero to hundred unit consumption. So those people who are using only within hundred units in two months. The second category is those people who uses less than two hundred units, but more than hundred units in two months. Then third category is. those people who is using 200 to 500 units and the fourth category is people using above 500 so that is in the old tariff system so now take the old tariff system and compare the first one first category 0 to 100 there is no change so e bill was electricity bill was zero previously and in new tariff also it is zero so there is no change so we can say 0% change for the 100 unit consumption but if you consume more than 100 but less than 200 then first 100 unit will be 0 rupees because that is given as government subsidy for remaining 100 units whether it is 100 units or less than 100 units for that you have to pay 1.5 rupees per unit and there will be fixed cost of 20 rupees this is the old system So, for example, if I take 180 unit consumption, in that 100 unit will be free, and 80 units, remaining 80 units, we have to pay 1.5 rupees per unit, plus there will be 20 rupees fixed cost. So we can calculate this as 120 rupees plus 20 fixed cost. So your EB will be 140 rupees for 180 unit consumption. for similar thing if you go for new tariff again 0 to 100 is free for everyone 0 to 100 is free for everyone then 100 to 200 you need to pay 2.25 rupees per unit so there is increase of 0.75 rupees per unit so this is the increase 0.75 rupees per unit is increased but at the same time there is no fixed cost so previously fixed cost was 20 rupees now it is made zero so you have to just calculate 2.25 into 80 for 180 unit consumption so if you see here it will come 180 rupees for 180 unit consumption now let us take the maximum change what is happened if i take 200 unit then the old system will give 0 for 100 unit and remaining 100 unit we have 1.5 rupees plus 20 rupees the fixed cost so total amount is 170 rupees the previous bill was 170 rupees new bill will be 225 rupees for consumption of 200 units so there is 32% increase in this so this is how you can calculate now if your consumption is in the category 3 that means from 200 to 500 units let's understand the method so for that Initial zero to hundred was government subsidy zero, hundred to two hundred that is one hundred unit here will cost two rupees per unit that means the cost will be two into hundred two hundred rupees for this range. Then above two hundred and less than five hundred the cost was three rupees per unit so maximum cost here will come as three into three hundred nine hundred rupees. Now I'll take one example like suppose you have consumed four eighty units. So for four eighty units, first hundred free, then hundred to two hundred you have to pay two hundred rupees, two rupees per unit. Previously it was one point five, now you have to pay two rupees per unit. For remaining two eighty units, you have to pay three rupees. So it will become eight forty rupees if you add, and apart from that you need to pay a fixed cost of thirty rupees. So. For this category, fixed cost is thirty rupees. For second category, twenty rupees. For third category, thirty rupees. First category, no fixed charge. So total bill is one zero seven zero. 
for 480 units. Now come to the new tariff. In new tariff, what are the changes? 0 to 100, same thing. 101 to 200, this range, 100 to 200 range, we have 2.25 rupees per unit. So there is 25 rupees increase here. So this 25 rupees is increased from here. Then the slab is, no, here it is 200 to 500. Here there is another slab for 200 units. So 201 to 400 is 4.5 rupees per unit and that is why this will become uh, for 200 units 900 rupees and then 401 to 500 it is 6 rupees per unit. So if you calculate everything and for the uh, 480 unit consumption so first 0 to 100 0 100 to 200 will be 225 rupees 200 to 400 because it is 4.5 rupees per unit so you have to pay 900 rupees for this range then from 400 to 480 it is only 80 units so 80 multiplied by 6 we have 80 unit only so 80 multiplied by 6 is 480 rupees if we add all of them we will get 1605 so instead of 1070 you need to pay 1605 suppose you are exactly at 500 unit consumption Maximum consumption in this category is 500 unit. So if you consume exactly 500, then old bill was 1130. We can calculate from this range. Then new bill will be 1725. So there is increase of approximately more than 50% in this case. Now let us go for the last category, which is above 500 units. So in this category, actually, Previously, there was only above 506.6 per unit for all the units. But now you can see from 501 to 600, you have 8 rupees per unit. Then every 200, 200 units, the rate is increasing by 1 rupees per unit. So let's see what are the uh, rates for above 500 units. If you consume above 500 units, even this rate will change. This rate will also change and this will be added. So here you have 0 to 100, 0 rupees. 101 to 200, we have 350 rupees because now cost is 3.5. This is old tariff. 201 to 500, 4.6, 1380. And above 500, you have 6.6 .6 per unit. Fixed cost is 50 rupees. So let us calculate for 600 unit. If you consume 600 unit. So for 600 unit, 350, plus 1380 up to 500 unit and then remaining 100 unit will be cost 6.6 .6 into 100 so 660 rupees plus 50 rupees the fixed cost so total will will be 2440 rupees for same consumption if you go to the new tariff this is the tariff 0 to 100 0 then 101 to 400 is 4.5 rupees per unit so here there was two range 100 to 200 was 3.5, 201 to 500 was 4.6. Now the range is 101 to 400 is 4.5, 401 to 500 is 6. So the cost is 1350 for this 300 unit, for this 100 unit 600, for this 100 we have 501 to 600, we have only 100 units so this will be 800. 800. 601 to 800 is 9 rupees per unit and then this is 10 rupees per unit. So here we can see how much will be the cost for a consumption of 600 unit. If I take 600 unit, our consumption will be 1350, then 600 and after that we have 100 unit which is 8 rupees per unit. So that cost will be 800 rupees. So we can add them and we'll get 2750. That is the amount and previous amount was 2440. New amount is 2750. Now if I just check how much is the change for 1000 unit, we can do the calculation over here. For the category 4, if previous old system if I take for 1000 unit, the amount will be we can add 350, 1380 and remaining 500 with 6.6. .6. So 
so 350 plus 1380 plus 6.6 .6 multiplied by 500 and this amount will be equal to 350 plus 1380 plus 6.6 .6 into 500 so this is 5 and plus 50 rupees fixed charge so this will be 5080 that is the old system if I go to the new system new system is first uh, 300 unit first 100 unit 0 then 300 unit 1350 so we can write 0 plus 1350 400 units over then from 401 to 500 is 600 and from here to here it is 800 so we can write 600 plus 800 600 plus 800 so here we have 0 unit 300 100 unit 300 unit 100 unit then we have 100 units so 400 500 600 is over then from 600 to 1000 see 600 to 800 9 rupees so 1800 and 2000 we will add so plus 1800 plus 2000 add all of them and we will get the bill for 1000 unit 1350 plus 600 plus 800 plus 1800 plus 2000 will be 6550 so percentage change will be percentage change for 1000 unit consumption is 6550 minus 5080 divided by 5080 so this is the percentage change so 28 percent or 29 percent approximately so this is the list change if you see but in terms of amount it is highest difference but in terms of percentage here this is list affected so i hope you understand all the calculation of old tariff and new tariff and what is the impact on your domestic electricity consumption thank you